appears intoxicated. And I hit something, you know, I thought it was a road sign. It says that we almost hit a child. I didn't think that we did. Alright, the vehicle's trying to flee. Keep your hands in the air! Four or five crashes. I watched it. That's a lie. That is it's all on camera, dude. I only hit one person. Oh. Put your arms behind your back. <laughs> what are you? Saint John, she's taking off. She's heading towards. Los oficiales siempre tienen que lidiar con conductores que piensan que está bien operar un vehículo bajo la influencia del alcohol. El problema es que cada vez que alguien bebe y conduce hay vidas en juego. Esto es lo que sucede cuando los conductores ebrios se dan cuenta de que atropellaron a la gente. Colisión de camionetas. Nuestro primer caso comienza el 29 de agosto de 2023 en el condado de Whatcom. Los agentes fueron llamados al lugar de la colisión entre dos camionetas donde no se produjeron heridos. Se les pidió que identificaran la causa del accidente y entrevistaron a las partes involucradas para comprender mejor cómo se desarrollaron los hechos. Mientras que uno de los testigos pudo identificar claramente lo sucedido, el otro estaba evidentemente bajo los efectos del alcohol. La intoxicación del conductor es un indicio de que están a punto de ser arrestados. Can you explain to me what happened? Uh, we were driving up the road here. He just kept coming right out in front of us. And I have a big side driving? Yes. And I avoid, I made an invasive move, got out and around him far enough that we didn't hit him with the truck. But then, the, unfortunately, the tire caught his front end. But the car went the other way, which I'm surprised didn't stop. He almost ended up in the ditch. In the ditch. But he missed, luckily, we all missed each other. Which is, Are you anybody injured? No, not at all. I don't have my insurance card. Sir? I don't have my insurance card. What's up? But it's insured. No, the West Can you explain to me what happened? I just say no with being audio and video recorded. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't look left. Okay. And okay, so explain to me which way or where you're coming from. Right, right, there. right here on Lakeside. Yeah. So you come up to the stop sign. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. And you tried to take a right. We yeah. can see him coming. Yeah, exactly. I didn't look back. I was... Okay. Pulled out in the intersection and yeah. back of the trailer. It's uh -huh. like your truck is still drivable. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Special enough for me. That's the case number assigned to this and that's my name. Okay. I'm going to call you tomorrow. Sure. With his um, contact information. Yeah. And I'm going to deal with the potential I did DUI. take a picture of his insurance and his oh, uh, license. Okay. Uh, Brian, uh, any alcohol to drink tonight? Can you put that up for me? Sorry. Any alcohol to drink tonight? No. Dada la gravedad del accidente, la policía estaba dispuesta a procesar al sospechoso y someterlo a las pruebas de sobriedad convencionales. Si se aprueban o no, influirá en los próximos pasos. Alerta de spoiler, no pasan con gran éxito y tienen numerosas excusas de por qué no pueden completar estas instrucciones básicas. You're okay with doing voluntary field sobriety tests? Sure. Okay, so what I want you to do this first test, I want you to stand in front of me. Okay. With your feet touching, keep your arms on your side. Okay. What I want you to do is you're going to follow tip my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. I don't want you to move your head, so just follow with the tip of your pen or with your eyes only. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Can you relax for a sec? So this next test, um, I'm going to demonstrate it for you and explain it. Okay. Okay. But before I start, what I want you to do, see this white line in front of you? I do. I'm going to put your left foot on the line. Yeah. Okay. Put your right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe. Okay. And keep your arms down at your side. Up. Oh. Okay. Like I want this? you to stay in this position. Wait, I thought you were going to show me first. Right. I'm going to do that, but I want you to stand in this position like I instructed. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead, put your right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe. Okay. Yeah. Keeping your arms at your side. Okay. Yeah. I want you to stay in this spot until I tell you to start. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, what you want to do, I'm going to demonstrate for you. Or right leg, though. Okay. 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 Would you rather not do this one? I mean, I don't want to just because I don't have any feeling. In... Okay. Okay. What I mean, want... I can do it, I guess. Well, it's, up try. To you. it's up to you. I'm not going to make you do anything you're not comfortable, or, uh, not comfortable with. Um, I can do another test where it would require you to stand on one leg which you've already told me your right leg is injured. Right. So I would have you stand on one leg, lifting your toe, and pointing it towards me. So I'll stand on my left leg? Yep. Okay. But I want you to, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. So step out here. I want you to stand with your feet touching together. 
Okay, with your feet touching together, arms at your side. Okay, so stay like this until we tell you to start the test. Okay? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your right leg off the ground about six inches, pointing your toe towards me, okay. looking at your toe, and counting out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. You understand that? Again, my, my left leg. Okay. Well, you said your right leg is in. Our right leg, you could, sorry. You said you can stand on your left? Yeah, I can. Okay. okay. You understand that part, that part of the test? Yeah. So, go ahead and begin. Okay. Hold on. No. Just give me, give me a second. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. We'll we'll stop that one. Okay. So this the next um, test. This next test. It's not a evidentiary test. It's part of the testing process. It's a preliminary breath test. Preliminary breath test. It does not replace any evidentiary um, breath samples. You be willing to perform a uh, voluntary preliminary breath test. Al tren fracaso instantáneo de la prueba, la policía esposa al sospechoso y lo mete en el coche. Al hombre le hacen algunas preguntas y hace una llamada muy necesaria antes de ser llevado a la cárcel. Put your hands on your back. So go your hands. Keep your back and your hands together. Sir, do you have any close to being called to come pick up the truck? I'm gonna put two sets of handcuffs on you, okay? Because you've got some tight shoulders, is that all right? What's that? Just keep facing the truck for me. Let go of your hands. You were under arrest for DUI at this point, okay? Let us see right here, Brian. Okay, wash your head when you get in. Swing your leg in, I'll help you uh, get your phone and get hold of your sister. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer having present while being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before any question if you wish. You can sign at any time to exercise these rights and not answer your questions and make these statements. Do you understand your rights? Yes? Yeah. Okay. El conductor fue acusado de DUI. Afortunadamente en este caso el conductor no se cruzó con ningún peatón. Pero en nuestro siguiente caso, los sospechosos entraron en un lugar muy público. Sara, dúo borracho. Nuestro próximo caso comienza el 27 de mayo de 2023 en Florida. Dos mujeres, una de ellas llamada Sara, decidieron hacer un viaje a la playa bajo el sol. El único problema fue que condujeron hasta allí ebrios y casi atropellan a un niño en el proceso. Sin el debido criterio, el dúo condujo por una playa abarrotada poniendo en peligro innumerables civiles. Cuando llegó la policía, después de que los testigos presenciales informaran del incidente, el coche en cuestión fue encontrado en el mar, habiendo sido conducido hasta la orilla. And there was so many people illegal. Yeah, well, the people are down here because you can't drive on this part of the beach. I'm so sorry. We we were driving from New Smyrna and we got over here. And I'm we were so just trying sorry. to turn around. We didn't think that we could do a U turn around here. So we were just trying to keep going. Maybe look at the car over there. So who was driving? You or? I was driving. You were driving? Yes. Okay. No, I didn't think that we could do a U turn. I thought we had to keep going. Well, there's no there. driving at all. I'm so sorry. We were driving from New Smyrna. I know. I'm, I, I, I really But where those so rocks sorry. are and those poles that say no vehicles, there's no driving beyond them. We have a sticker that says that we were parking like on the beach. We, we weren't. Right. So I, I take full responsibility. I was not in no. the car. 
Yes, please, like, like, and then there were so many people. Like, please help us. And then there was so, so much of a crowd. Hey, careful! Shoot! Yeah. Hey, we weren't done in my shoot. I don't even know how to get out of here. They drove it down here. No, we drove it down here. Oh my God, I'm afraid of... uh, yeah, we what are we gonna do? We're gonna figure it out. Please help us. Ooh, did yeah, anybody get it? This one right here. It was inches away from hitting the car. Oh, that was really cool. Anyway, yeah. Okay. 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 I was reading their phone. Really? NASA, hey, be careful. Bro, shoot. Yeah. Hey, hey man. Yeah. It was so far. Oh my God, I'm afraid of the window. Okay. You have your license on you? Yes, I do. It's in my phone, but it's in the car. I would get your phone out of there. Your car's not going to be moving for a while. Okay, can I get it? Yeah, go get your license and your phone. How, how do we get everybody to get away from us? You know, the beach, they're free to be here. Yeah. You see the alcohol? Oh, yeah. There's no way you would drive over here, though. Nah. You've been drinking today. Yeah. Number I've... one, not good because you're diabetic. All right? Yeah. How about you? I did have a drink, yes. Okay. Just it was one. But you know day, what? Yes. My only... Do you have a way to get home? I'm not going home without her. She's going to go to jail. Okay? No. All right, so you can go with her. Or you can stay out. Los policías están completamente desconcertados por la escena que encontraron, pero las víctimas se apresuraron a culpar a las niñas. Sin embargo, este es el lugar difícil para solicitar una prueba de sobriedad, por lo que los policías toman algunas decisiones firmes que dejan a las chicas emocionadas. So your best thing to do for her instead of fighting with us and arguing no, with us, I will not I'll argue. tell you what her bond is. It's probably gonna take us a good hour to do the paperwork, and then try to bond her out. No, I, I, I'm not gonna argue. With you. Okay. No. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> what do I do now? Call the Blue County Branch Jail and get her bond. No, still have a bond. You can bond her out. I will. I will. Are you hurt from any of this? No, okay. Do you have anything on you that we need to know about? You need to call someone to come pick you up. All right. This is the Volusia County Branch Daniel Daytona Beach. That's where she'll be. She'll get all the free phone calls she wants while she's in booking. Oh my God. Her, her bond's only going to be a thousand dollars, so ten percent's a hundred dollars. All right. I will get her out. So I'm going to go get her in my car. No, please. No, it's, just do I'm just telling you what's happening. What do I do? Oh, I think I'll call her. You got her for a minute? Yes, yeah. I'll call her. Alright, come on, sir. You're gonna arrest me too? No. Here's what's gonna happen. She's going. You need to find somebody to come pick you Jeez. up. Please. Don't no, leave no, me just... here. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Hey, I have to go. Listen. I, how do I tell somebody I'm here? I'm begging you. Okay, hurry up and call somebody then. I, I'm calling, I'm calling. Please don't go. I don't know where I am. I can't walk anywhere. All right, I got her son on the way to come get her. But he's out. Her son's coming to get her. Okay. Your pump pumps it in automatically? Yeah, but the pump is in there. I just don't need me here. We can't take you with us. The only place we can take you is jail. You want me to go get your medicine? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> uh, you got flood insurance or whatever they call that? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm about to pay. Yeah. You're going to need it for this one. Brenda, is it in the cooler? Is it in the cooler? No. No. I need you to calm down if you want your medicine. I can't medicine. calm down. Stop. I can't. Act like a grown-up. Is this it? La policía vuelve al público para hacer más preguntas sobre lo sucedido. Posteriormente, Sara fue llevada a la cárcel para afrontar las consecuencias de sus acciones y su amiga se quedó en la playa. Sara fue acusada de DUI 
y conducción imprudente. En este caso nadie resultó herido, pero desafortunadamente, en el siguiente caso fueron los propios policías los que terminaron heridos. Sergio Ramírez. Nuestro próximo caso comienza el 15 de febrero de 2022 en Wisconsin. Los oficiales estaban respondiendo a un incidente de atropello y fuga y encontraron al conductor Sergio Ramírez, conduciendo en sentido contrario por la carretera. Causando mayor peligro público, era evidente que estaban operando el vehículo bajo la influencia del alcohol. Con las luces de la policía encendidas, Sergio aún se negó a reducir la velocidad y terminó chocando de frente con el patrullero. Este horrible accidente significó que las víctimas fueron los policías quienes rápidamente informaron al servicio de emergencias por el accidente. Los refuerzos llegaron y descubrieron que Sergio estaba herido y los oficiales sufrían dolores de cabeza. Hey yo. You know what? I checked in with your officer. Hey, sit down. I'm not even doing anything. Hey bro. Can you tell him to stop please? Have a seat. Have a seat. And then we'll talk. I was walking on Century and I was going to that stoplight. That's probably oh for sure. He's probably between alcohol and Stay away, stay away, Cuevas. Stay away. No, 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 just stay seated for us. Stay seated, just stay awake. We're gonna have... Bro, I was already there. You're already where? With you, bro. Oh, for, anyway, we're getting everybody to check on the other car versus tree. I was already with you. And you were already with the Before I checked bro, the area, bro, I didn't see anything obvious near This is easy. stupid, dude. Didn't look super close, though. There is an ambulance. Bro, because you know that it, it, it wasn't even. That's it for ambulance. Bro. Oh, five to oh, three. Three's good here. I can go down there. Hey, yeah, bro. I can tell you again. All right. So, tell me why I can't be yeah, done. I think, I think we got this pretty well. Bro, I'm not doing this. Sit right here, stay stay one so we can have you get checked out. Bro, you're the only one that did this and on me out. What are you talking about? You hit your head. You're confused right now. Just stay seated. Stay seated. Wait. Deja de tocarme la pinche cara. Wait. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs if you don't stay seated. Deja de tocarme porque yo estoy aquí. Mira, so there's an accident down the street. Um, I will move my truck, but I need you to just pull into the parking lot yes, up here sir. on the right. I'll pull the parking lot go Because I don't want you to have to back up the trailer. Give me a second, though. Mira, güey. Tú me estuviste aquí y acá. I don't understand Spanish. Yeah, so here's what the okay. No, 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 no. Come down. No, no, no. <laughs> Sergio ya está en muchos problemas pero sigue luchando con los oficiales Estarán preocupados por su lesión en la cabeza pero ante su negativa de obedecer tienen que tomar medidas Pull into the parking lot for pick and save, turn around and I'm shutting down the road here, ok? I think so, but he's also, he hit his head hard And he's not, he's not Bro Hey, hey Relax. Hey, bro. Oh, three, what's your mark the driver detained for right now? Dude. Terry, are we having the county come do this? Uh, Dude. <laughs> I'm asking you, like, please, man. Dude, like, if you want me to tell you that, like, I respect you, dude. I want you to get checked out by the ambulance, what I want. I respect you to do that. Let me get your respect for her. Do you have any weapons on you? El personal médico llega para atender a Sergio, lo que permite a los agentes registrar el vehículo. Mientras tanto, los demás agentes también serán atendidos. Una vez llegado al hospital, Sergio seguía dando problemas y tuvo que ser atado. Sergio fue acusado de OWI por causar lesiones, PAC, y de operar mientras estaba revocado. También le impusieron múltiples multas. El conductor no pudo huir del lugar después del accidente, pero el sospechoso de este siguiente caso intentó hacerlo. 
Huyendo de la escena, el 13 de enero de 2023 se pidió a los agentes que respondieran a un incidente de atropello y fuga. Cuando llegaron al lugar no había rastro alguno del perpetrador, por lo que el primero en debe tener. Cuando llegaron al lugar no había rastro alguno del perpetrador, por lo que el primer deber fue tomar declaración a los testigos y asegurarse de que estuvieran a salvo. Es una escena caótica, pero la policía brinda una presencia tranquilizadora y ayuda a calmar a la víctima. Esto es lo que descubrieron gracias al testigo. Hello. Hi. Officer Clarence, Kirk, Police Department, to see you where you're being on video recorded. So what happened? Um, I was coming out, was very slowly coming here um, after getting okay. some food. Morgan, I've been, I'm in a hit and run. I'm literally on 124th by Acetunos. You gotta go get Kenzo. What happened? The police are here, okay? Can you go pick him up? You'll yeah, see I'll if you there. drive down 120. I'm just shocked because the, the person did a hit and run and I didn't even drove off. I'm trying to speak to a police officer right now, okay? Okay. Okay. So, okay. What yeah. was? What? So I don't. I. Uh, what I was, was look and I was just pulling like literally at one so mile you're, per you're hour. So pu you're pulling out of this parking lot here? Uh, yeah, I just ordered from the burrito guys, you yep. know. And um, they were pretty far away. These there were cars here, so I was just pulling into the middle to wait. And they were coming towards me, and they just didn't slow down at all and hit the car. I don't know where, because it happened so fast. My car spun around. It wasn't facing this direction before. They hit me pretty hard. And the, yeah, okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. So you were facing this direction? Yeah, I was coming real slow to be in this in, okay, in the middle. Okay, and then they hit you in the rear end. All right, are you oh, I don't know where they hit me because yeah, it was I can, like... I can see. Are you okay? Do you need any like medical or are you, are you No, I think I'm out? just in shock and I'm really stressed. I have a special needs kid. I'm supposed to be picking up at six o'clock. Okay. Well, you don't have any oh. airbag deployments. So this is pretty, pretty substantial uh, And damage. I'm not even, because the guy was like, can I move out? And I was trying to drive the car out of here, but I'm not sure. Right on the side, he's in his car. It's a, it's a, it's a Mercury truck or another. los policías se encontraron e identificaron exitosamente al sospechoso y no se sorprenden al descubrir que está profundamente ebrio y aparentemente preocupado por lo que ha hecho. El siguiente paso es la prueba de sobriedad de campo. Kirkland, por favor, step out of the car for me. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Don't grab a seat on the curb up here, okay? Alright, man. Grab a seat, okay? You got any weapons on you? No. Okay. Just so you're aware, you're being audio video recorded, okay? Alright. What happened, man? What happened to your car? Appears intoxicated. Are you hurt? Did you hit your head or anything? No. Do you need to have fire check you out medically? No. Where are you coming from, man? Okay. Just down the street, yeah. That's not far. Where were we at before this? Which store? What's the name of the store? Two, go ahead. Like the gas station? Yeah. And you don't know what happened to the car? No. Are you willing to let me do some voluntary field sobriety tests just to make sure you're safe to be driving? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay to stand up? You fell over before. No. No, I tripped. Okay. okay. I can smell the alcohol on your breath, but you're saying that you have not had anything to drink at all. I want you to stand with your feet, heels, and toes together for me. Hands down at your side, out of your pockets. Okay. Stay in this position until I tell you to move. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any known issues with your eyes? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Do you wear glasses? Yeah. Contacts? Yeah. Okay. Do you have ID on you? No? You don't have... Keep your hands out of your pockets for me, okay? Well, yeah, I mean, I have it. You have it in your car? Yeah. All right. 
La prueba de sobriedad continúa y los agentes no están nada satisfechos con lo que han visto. El hombre no ha dado buenas cuentas a sí mismo y sigue luchando con lo que piden, aunque él es obediente. Just imagine a straight line coming out of that left foot. Put your right foot heel to toe on that same line. Put your right foot in front of your left foot heel to toe. While you're taking those steps, I'm going to have you look down at your feet, count your steps out loud, keep your arms down at your side, and once you begin the test, don't stop until you've completed the test. Do you understand? Yeah. It's going to look like this. I'm going to do three steps for the purposes of demonstration. You'll do nine. One two, three, and so on until you get to nine. You'll take a series of small steps around that lead foot, and then you'll take one, two, three, and so on until you've done nine steps back down the line. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, let's get you back in that position. Straight line out of your left foot, right foot heel to toe in front of it, and hands down at your side. Do you understand the instructions? You can begin. Okay, relax for a second. This one's a little easier. I'm going to have you stand with your feet, heels and toes together, arm, hands down at your sides. Feet, heels and toes together, hands down at your sides. Good. Okay, this is the instructional position. I'll have you stay here until I tell you to begin the next test, okay? Okay, and you said you haven't had anything to drink. Okay. Um, are you willing to provide a voluntary breath sample? This does not replace the evidentiary breath sample at the station. Um, it does not fulfill Washington's implied consent laws. No. You don't want to do this? No. Okay, you might hold off this for me. Sure, here, I'll just stick it in my pocket. Después de hacer su respectiva investigación, la policía arresta al sospechoso. Lo registran y trasladan a su vehículo y lo llevan a la cárcel. Continúa siendo silencioso y dócil, asegurando que el proceso será lo más fluido posible. El sospechoso fue acusado de DUI y huir de un accidente automovilístico. Una combinación de delitos que también cometió el siguiente sospechoso. Mary. Nuestro próximo caso comienza el 1 de noviembre de 2022 en Wisconsin. Se notificó a la policía que un automóvil había chocado con un ciclista y un testigo afirmó que el conductor se dio a la fuga después del incidente. El testigo dio un relato fantástico de lo que había visto con una descripción clara del sospechoso y su vehículo. La policía utilizó esta información para localizar al conductor a quien encontraron al costado de la carretera. Mary, la sospechosa, estaba evidentemente ebria y la policía comenzó el interrogatorio. Hi, Marie. Hi. Do you have your kids with you right now? Yes, I do. Can I talk to you out here? Yes. Affirmative. Did you get a return on the plane? So tell me what happened, please. So I was leaving my house to pick my kids up from school. And I did hit something. I did, but I was going to be late to pick them up. I thought I hit a sign. I didn't know I hit a person. Where was this at? Right by my house. I thought I hit a sign, and I'm like, well, I just fucked her up. Okay. Were you, when this happened, were you on the road? Or? Yes, I was on the road. Okay. Yes. So I guess, how, how would you hit a sign if you were on the road? Well, you know, you veer off a little bit. So I just came from Rockford, Illinois, because I picked my father-in-law up last night. Okay. So they could see him trick or treating. Okay. And I dropped him off. And I even got a speeding ticket because I was going fast. I was going fast because I didn't want to be late to pick them up. Oh my God, is the person okay? Uh, so I came from Rockford. I even got a speeding ticket because I didn't want to be late to pick them today. up. Yes, I got the ticket oh, don't in my car. Okay. And so I stopped at home, driving down the road. I dropped my phone. I picked it up. I did hit something. I thought I hit a sign. Because I there was nobody. I didn't see nobody. I'm like, oh, f I just hit something. I'll Okay. And then you went to the schools, grabbed your kids? Yes. And then how'd you end up over here? So we were going to stop at the gas station. Okay. I forgot they had all the candy from trick-or-treating. So I'm like, well, let's go to the gas station. They like to stop there. 
And then they said, oh, you know, we don't need candy. We have all... I'm like, okay, fine. Let's go home then. Okay. Maria is your first name, correct? Yes. What Will is you your... please make sure the guy's okay or the person that I hit? What is please. your telephone? I, the ambulance, did you see the ambulance go by? No. They, just a few minutes ago, they're taking him to the hospital. I so didn't I, see nothing. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know right now. Oh, my What's God. What's your phone number, Maria? Is there any way you can find out if the person's okay? How much alcohol have you had today? None. None at all? No. Okay, as I'm talking to you, I'm smelling something. That I drank like some alcohol. last night. Okay, how much did you have last night? Oh, I don't know. We were trick-or-treating. I was drinking. I got pretty drunk okay. last night. Were you but... down in Rockford for that or up here? No, up here. In, by the school. When is the last time you had a drink? 40. 34, 35, 34. 6 o'clock last night? 6 p.m.? And so you got pretty drunk. How much do you think you had to drink? Oh, I didn't get pretty drunk. That's what you just said. I got drunk. I didn't get pretty drunk. I mean... Okay. And you've had no alcohol today? No. Okay. Do you do any recreational drugs, marijuana? No, I just like drove four hours. A Mary le piden que haga una prueba de sobriedad, pero de alguna manera cree que necesita un abogado para ello. Está poniendo las cosas más difíciles y obviamente le preocupa no aprobar el examen. Marie. Why do you need to call your husband? Because he again? told me to no longer have contact. He said, get a lawyer. Okay. You need so, to do field sobriety testing. That does not require a lawyer. Okay. I need you to perform those tests. That's going to allow me to evaluate whether you're actually impaired or not, or if it's just a stale odor from last night's drinking. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I don't know. Keep your head still, please. Oh, keep your head straight, sorry. My contacts are... Yeah, if, you have, if you have to blank, that's fine. Now we're contacting okay. so I understand. Well, it's easier when the truck's there. You turn your head on that one, so I'm going to do that one again. Try to keep your head real still. You're still moving a little bit. We're in the middle of the road. They're behind us to make sure we don't get hit. Take nine, heel to toe steps forward, turn around how I showed you, and take nine, heel to toe steps back. Do you understand the instructions? Uh, I think so. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Go ahead and begin. One, two. This is like an incline. Can I go this way? Well, that's going to put us in the middle of the road. I know, but it's like... Okay. Let's, let's can step... Can you do it? Let's step right, step right here and start there. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then, what, is that what you said? Just turn around how I showed you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Go ahead and step back up here. Count out loud, please. Look at your foot. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Keep going? Yep. Um, 35, it's 39, 10, 10. not easy. Okay. I don't think that's going to help. That's even more I, slanted. Come, come right back up here. 15, 15, 16, 17, 18. Como probablemente predijo, Mary no pasó la prueba y fue arrestada y colocada en el coche de policía. Intentó posponerlo lo mayor que pudo con excusas y falsa preocupación, con la esperanza de recuperar la sobriedad con el paso del tiempo, pero fue llevada ante la justicia y procesada en la cárcel. Fue acusada de atropello y fuga, causando daños corporales, lesiones y dewey. Muchos sospechosos intentan escapar luego de su colisión, al igual que este próximo incidente. El motor comienza a caerse. Nuestro próximo caso comienza el 16 de septiembre de 2023 en Daytona Beach. Los agentes informaron a las noticias que un cargador verde chocó con un vehículo y se fue. Sin embargo, la policía está pisándole los talones y ha estado siguiendo al sospechoso durante un tiempo. Sin embargo, la persecución a alta velocidad habría durado más si el vehículo no se hubiera desmoronado. Pero los daños sufridos por la colisión significaron que el sospechoso no pudo huir con éxito. Mira lo que sucede cuando la policía alcanza al ladrón. Passing 
down, he's being done. Still westbound, inside lane. La parada a alta velocidad fue increíblemente intensa y los oficiales fueron aprensivos con su arresto haciendo justicia rápidamente al posible caso de DUI. La policía también habló con otros testigos para comprender más sobre lo sucedido. You call him, Tim, you call him. Walk back to the sound of my voice! Walk backwards! Walk backwards! Walk backwards! Stop! Stop! Take your shirt up with your right hand. Turn around slowly. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning! Stop! Get on your knees. Keep your hands in the air! is at the scene of like the third crash. Wow. I only hit one person. No, you've hit so many people. No, I only hit one person. I only hit one person. We have like four or five crashes. I watched them. That's crash. a lie. That is it's a all lie. on camera, dude. I only hit one person. Okay. It's okay. Well, Karen's gonna lie. That's fine. All you right. can run the cameras. I only hit one person. Let's go. Oh, okay. So watch around. I don't think he hit me. He, he tried to hit me, but he didn't hit me. I heard him on the scanner running. Yeah, he's he's told at least five cars. lejos de la vista al público. La policía tuvo que realizar una prueba de sobriedad antes de arrestar definitivamente al sospechoso. Tuvo que hacer la mayor parte de esto mientras él se encontraba esposado. Debido a la naturaleza del caso, el sospechoso hace algunas preguntas, pero su estado de debilidad sugiere que no está prestando atención a las respuestas. No está claro de qué se le acusó. El sospechoso hizo todo lo posible para escapar, al igual que el siguiente conductor. Conductor de Lyft nuestro último caso comienza el 8 de septiembre de 2023. La policía estaba investigando a una mujer que se detuvo en medio de un cruce de peatones y casi choca contra otro vehículo al girar. La conductora de Lyft claramente no tenía el control de su automóvil y no se podía confiar en que continuará conduciendo. La policía se puso en contacto con la mujer y le advirtió sobre el motivo de la parada. Ella parecía negarlo e incluso intentó huir, pero eso no funcionó. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Chapo. Hey, I'm Deputy Green of the Sheriff's Office. Hey, reason I'm stopping you, okay, first off, all right, when you were stopped over there at the red light after coming over the Bridge of Lions, okay, you were stopped way past the stop bar, and your car was completely in the crosswalk. Okay. Okay, you can't be parking in the middle of the crosswalk, because if people are trying to cross, obviously, they can't walk through your car, right? That makes sense. Okay. As you were coming down Cathedral over there, okay, do you remember where you started drifting over to the left? Yes. And you almost hit that parked car? Yes. Okay. And then as you turned here... All right, you turned here very quick onto this road, which is King Street. Okay, so that's why I stopped you. One, you were parked in the crosswalk up there. Two, you drifted over and almost smashed into that parked car. I did not 
almost smashed into the park car. I'm a lift. I'm trying to get to my customers. Okay, do you remember, but do you remember almost hitting it? No, I didn't almost hit it. Well, you just told me that you did. I did not. I said I moved over to the lane, and all of a sudden, I was in the lane where I was trying to move over. There's a, a parked car that's in the middle of the, the white line in the lane. Right, right, right. But you started drifting over, almost hit it, and you swerved over to the right. That's not what happened. Okay. Well, listen, I'm just telling you what I saw. Okay. okay. And also, parked in the crosswalk. Okay. Do you have your driver's license, your registration insurance? I sure do. Can you kiss this? Hmm? With me? What's that? It said, "Can you bear with me?" I didn't even say anything. It's the light. It's just my light. I know, but it's a little invasive. It's it's not invasive. It is. What are you? St. John, she's taking off. She's heading towards. Oh, she's quicker. I don't say George. Get on the ground, you're gonna get chased! You're gonna get chased! Get on the ground now! Con el intento fallido de dejarle el tiro por la culata, el conductor es detenido. Ahora está muy emocional, pero ha puesto demasiadas excusas por sus acciones. Luego la policía trabajó para la escena del crimen haciendo lo necesario para procesar el sitio adecuadamente. She's not security, I'm working on it. Put your arms behind your back. You just made a bad decision. I know, but I'm Sit up. Careful. I'll give you an address in a sec. If you keep going north on St. George, you'll see a tree in the middle. Give me a second. Please, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm such a good person, please. St. John, start fire rescue. Her car, her motor's on fire. You don't messed up. I'm sorry. Look, your car's on fire. I understand that. I've never done anything in my life. Yeah, well, you made a bad choice. What happened? Please tell me what happened. What's happening? Look what you just did. I... Look what you just did. Okay, Look at so all this. One bad mistake makes up for. A... Do you got anything illegal on you? No, of course not. No, of course not. Take a seat. Well, you have a strap. Take a seat. Posts, paneling, vehicle headlight, Toyota. Oh my God, it's in their yard. Luego la policía interroga al sospechoso antes de intentar realizar unas pruebas de sobriedad y llamar a su madre para informarle de lo sucedido. Pero como el sospechoso se niega a hacer la prueba, las cosas se complican un poco más. Fue acusada de huir e intentar eludir a gran velocidad. Dos cargos de DUI y resistirse un oficial sin violencia. 